Well, welcome back to another spiritual oracle card reading. This reading is for you if you're here at this time. It is not a general reading. It is a personalized reading. That just means that you are personally the one seeing it. You are personally using your personal eyes, your personal emotions, oh, and your personal memories. Those are the things that are all being laid out in front of us for you to experience this personal reading. It's personal to you. It doesn't matter if everybody watches this same reading. They're all gonna hear, see, and feel a little differently in a personal way. Just like when you're driving your car on a highway, that highway is very personal to you. Just because there's a lot of cars on that highway driving, and just because there's a lot of exit signs that look similar, it doesn't mean you're having any type of a similar experience whatsoever that really matters. You're having a personal experience in your own car, in your own vehicle, in your own emotions, in your own thoughts, in your own memories, in your own what? In your own self, your personal self. So now that we got that out of the way and you realize that every reading on my channel, and there's 333 of them, oh, this is the 333rd. Ooh, there's 333 spiritually channeled messages, readings, and they're all for you. Every single solitary one of them from now until the end of time, they'll all be there for you, 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 you. Reach up to that green heart chakra. What's that? To the spiritual dimension. To know that everything that's coming down in the world, even though it might seem abstract at first, it becomes part of your star life. Your star life. So this is asking you to let go more, to be more loose, to be more free and creative. Creative with your approach with people and situations. This means accepting things that are not being so rigid, more abstract, like this reading, realizing that all readings are for you. That you're feeling a certain way, thinking a certain thing, or that you're noticing specific things in the reading that seem to be important to you. Even if I don't say them like the number three, and I don't say them like the little swirly swirls, and I don't say them like the flow of the water of the knowing, the knowing that the heart chakra is blossoming so bright. Even if I don't speak exactly about rainbows or white light or stars in your hair, it won't matter because you're going to notice and see exactly what you need to see, Miss Creativity. And when we go within to that spiritual heart and we claim our identity as a spiritual being, having a human experience, then nothing can keep the good from us. Nothing can keep us from reaching up our hand and pulling down from the people and situations around us, pulling the information out of those expressions in a way that does what? Fulfills our life purpose. And there she is. That's what she's reaching for. Look at these two cards coming from different decks. That should be fun for you to notice. I'm going to reach up to that. Look what she did. When she pulls her heart chakra down from that white light, she reveals that she's backed by the universe for all her hopes, dreams, all her white light desires, all her creative projects, creative endeavors. Doesn't matter what it is for you, whether it be a book or a program or a way of doing something or a little piece of jewelry or a meal that you're cooking or a whatever, a whatever. It's all for you. It's all you. Your life purpose is to make new things in the world. That's what you're doing. Every moment of the day, see this. You're going up into your secret place. You're being spiritual and you're bringing down white light in a loving, caring way to the people and the situations around you. And you can just find more and more easy ways to do this at work, with your family, with your significant other, with the future, with your personal future. I mean, part of our life purpose is to do a good future for God's source universe, to bring the white light down in a new and unique, purposeful, valuable way. What are you packing into the stream, the stream of life? What are you creating? This reading is absolutely for you. I am packing it into the stream of life for you. You are here at this particular time in life. Everything is divine timing. You can trust that and you can just, what? <laughs> Set the intention that you're in the right place at the right time, all the time. And if you do that, then you're going to start to experience reflections of that coming back at you. Boom, you're gonna acquire that. <laughs> love it. The acquisition must happen because it is the divine masculine and the divine feminine. That's who we really are as spiritual beings. 
So here you are as a mortal self going up to the spiritual body to find your life purpose. And who are you going to meet up there? These two, the royal couple. Who are the royal couple? Aw, the prince and princess, the king and queen, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. They're the two that need to unite up here in La La Land, in Spiritualville, in the abstract space where you can't see a physical body, which you could call your spirit, your imagination, your consciousness, your awareness, the you of you, the us, the us. So when I say we, I'm talking about these two. We want you to know, we want you to know that we're always with you. We want you to then know we'll acquire everything that you can give up to us. Give your heart chakra, give your creative heart up to us. We'll send them down as little snakes, meaning that we'll just, something that can crawl along the ground of your personal life. Not snakes like scary, forget about that. Goodbye fear, goodbye scary, no devil, no opponent, no nothing against you, no darkness. The darkness has become pink, pink newborn, like a newborn baby girl, pink, root chakra pink, that's that red that is blossoming as a new springtime of your ideas and hopes and dreams. And it's all swimming around or slithering around here in the yellow why because that's the joy chakra go up in here formulate the things with your divine masculine and divine feminine your words and your emotions divine masculine words divine feminine emotions go up in here and get a little vote going with your heart a little heart vote for the things you want to see come to pass in the dark world don't worry don't be afraid of snakes meaning don't walk around saying someone's trying to steal my manifestation someone's going to prevent me from having the good things i'm hoping for don't go up here and daydream about an awesome relationship and then tell yourself that it's not going to work because A, B, C, and D. Don't do it. When you go up there and you say those things to your divine masculine and divine feminine, they decree it. They send it out into the world for you. That's how it works. <laughs> they decree exactly what you're telling them to decree. They work for you. They work through you. So you go up there and you cast your vote for joyful things. That's what all the yellow is on you here. Look at it. The yellow. She's going up and casting the joyful votes for what she wants. They will come down into the world and that's what you will, orange chakra, acquire. The acquisition is written in orange because that is the creativity chakra, the solar plexus. What am I saying? The sacral chakra, right? The solar plexus is all that joy coming down and turning into the orange. You can see it right here, swirling and mixing in. Solar plexus yellow mixing in with the creative orange. And that's going to bring to pass in the world the things that you want. The things that you want to acquire. There's no limit to this. Look, this is why you don't want me telling you your future. Why would you want to make me someone that limits your future to what I think it should be or what I'm inspired to say? Now, I could say those things, but you are only going to have that future if you accept that up here. If you give that to your royalty up there, if you are wanting that transformation to come to pass, <laughs> amazing, if you want that transformation to come to pass and to have the things that you're hoping for be acquired, then you're going to have to allow that inner voice to accept what's being said around you. That's why no reader can tell you your future. And that's why it's a bunch of garbage. You want to get with people that are going to help emancipate you so that you can be transformed right into the 33. What's that? That's that same age that Jesus was ouchity ouch. Why is that important? Not to quote the Bible, but just to show you that when you are transformed from your limited self in this world, when you go up there, you get into that God source universe life purpose experience to grab onto the Christ of life. The Christ of life is represented by the words and the emotions that live inside you, that conscious space of anything is possible. When you go up there, then you have that transformation and look, you were born a second time in the world as a natural experience. That's why it looks like a leaf as a beautiful God and human combined, combined. Look at that green heart chakra and all that blue being the communication machine that you are sending out your words and your emotions all day long to acquire the things that you are looking for. I'm going to pull one more card in this reading. Mm. Oh, here we go. What are we going to surrender today for our help? Oh, the defensiveness. 
Not much to say there. Just let go by going up to your green heart chakra. She's got it on her head here. You can see that's turned green. Go into your joy so that that orange sacral can create around you. Boom, there it is coming down into the world again. You be that samurai that can easily just relax, get calm, and allow God, Source, Universe to bring into play all of that beautiful joy that you've went up there and planted in your consciousness space. There's nothing that can happen other than the acquisition of the things you hope for. Super easy. All right, that's your reading. Hey, watch the videos on my channel. I'll help support your ability to manifest whatever you want in your personal life. There's no limit. It's all up to you. If you're willing to believe, then you will <laughs> receive. Take care, leave me a comment, have fun. I'll be around every single day. And you can always find me by setting an intention and looking at any of the videos on my channel here. Take care, a goodbye.